Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos planned for you. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at upcoming projects. After that, I'm gonna have a tools and tips video. Following that, I'm gonna do a full Nansen tutorial. Finally, I'm gonna be coming out with a ton of NFT gaming videos. I'm working on a gaming list with all the different NFT games. I'm researching every single one because my goal in 2022 is to invest heavily into NFT games, into crypto gaming. And I really just wanna find the next Axie Infinity that is going to make a ton in passive returns that I'm gonna be able to use scholars, that I'm just gonna be able to sit back and make money. So once I figured all that out, I will be relaying the information back to you. If you like how that sounds, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, maybe give this video a big thumbs up. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything you hear in this video is just my opinion, and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. The first project I want to talk to you about today is called Collider Craftworks. Now, as you can see by this trailer on their website, these are extremely high quality 3D avatars. If we hop on over to their Twitter, you could see the amount of detail that has gone into making these different NFTs. NFTs. And the reason behind that is the company behind this collection has been designing and building characters for AAA game studios for the past five years. As you can see on their website, some of the games they've made characters for are the most recent Mortal Kombat, Assassin's Creed Origin, and Injustice 2. So the NFTs for this collection are going to be these beautiful avatars. Meanwhile, the team is going to be building out what they call a visual wallet. Now, this is going to be used to hold NFTs from their collection as well as other collections and companies in the real world that they collaborate with. Now I see this as an inventory system where you're going to be able to interact with your NFTs. You're going to be able to do things like edit their gear, edit their weapons, and it's all done in Unreal Engine. So the idea behind this is that you're going to be able to drop in any of your avatars, any of your assets into any game or world built in Unreal Engine. The other thing you can do is you can go into Unreal Engine yourself and then drop in any of your assets into the Unreal Engine builder. At the same time, they're going to be working on a series of mini games. The first one being their mosh pit, which is going to be a PVE shooter where you fight off enemies and earn loot boxes as well as gear. Now, as I mentioned, they have worked with big studios such as Capcom, such as WB, and they have a team of 85 employees and they're all fully doxxed. You can see their full names, their faces, their social media profiles. I had a call with the team. Eight of them showed up. They all showed their faces. So that's always a good sign for a project, especially something of this scale where they're attempting to build a ton of different things. One of those being a game, which is very hard to make. Now, we still do not have all the info for this project. While they did walk me through what their future plans are. You can see here they say that the white paper and cipher drop information coming in early 2022. So I will continue talking with the team. I will keep an eye out for their white paper. And I'm sure we've all heard Becker and Elio say that 2022 is supposed to be the year for crypto gaming and the current meta is 3D avatars. So this project is perfectly placed to do well as long as the team is able to execute. The next project on our list is called either Dogami or Dogami. So this one is going to be on Tezos. I've actually never invested in Tezos. I've never invested in the token. I've never bought NFTs on Tezos. So this is going to be a first for me. The reason I'm talking about this project today is they have some very impressive backers. They have Ubisoft, they have Sandbox, they have Animoca. And if we look at the board of advisors, you could see that one of them is the co-founder of the Sandbox, Sébastien Bourget. So this is going to be a game where you adopt and raise these 3D dog avatars. And it's also going to be play to earn. So you will be able to make money by playing this game. If we scroll down, we could see that the token is going to be called the Doga token. And with it, you are going to be able to train customize and build out different traits for your avatars. If you fast forward to their roadmap, you could see that in Q1 of 2022, they're going to be launching the first NFT collection as well as the Doga token listing. In Q2, they're going to have their game beta. And if you own one of the alpha NFTs, you are going to be able to take part in the beta. They're also going to introduce things like farming and staking. And finally, in Q3, they're going to launch the full mobile game. Now, I assume this is going to be free to play for everyone. You need a large player base in order for a game to be successful. So they might do something like other games where the Genesis holders of their original NFTs are going to get additional benefits on top of the average players who join for free. Now, we don't know the exact date of when the mint is happening. We also do not know the official price. However, they do tell us that there's going to be 500 Gen Alpha Doug Emmys per breed, and there's going to be eight to 10 breed. So we can assume there's going to be anywhere from 4,000 to 5,000 NFTs for the Genesis collection. And I can already hear you asking when whitelist. So you can still get whitelist for this project. And the way you do that is going to be completely random. You're just going to have to win one of their raffles or one of their giveaways. If you want to increase your odds, you can always level up in their discord and then you receive additional chances at getting whitelist. Now, one more reason before we move on why this project caught my attention, and that is due to Alex Becker. He recently said, I think dog 
origami it's kind of like a tamagotchi sort of game and you have nft dogs i think this i think this just fits together like gravy don't you i think this is going to be huge that's one i'd be looking as well now as we know projects or coins always blow up whenever he talks about them we recently saw this with my pet hooligan where all he had to do was answer one of their tweets next we have another project i really do not know much about this one it is a play to earn game however their discord is locked they do not have dms open on twitter so there is no way for me to contact them i do know people inside their twitter but i don't have that much information on the project now this reminds me a lot of the characters from some of the Tim Burton movies. I even think there's a character in one of the movies called Clementine. I can't remember if you're a big Tim Burton fan and you know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comment section down below. But perhaps I'm just imagining things and I'm wrong. If it is related to a Tim Burton movie, I'd be interested in knowing if they have the licensing agreement to do this, if it's gonna be a problem. I'm not saying it is, I have absolutely no idea. It's just something to consider before committing yourself to purchasing a project, which is a perfect segue into a project we spoke about last week called Bijutsu. Now this is the Naruto project. They're either collaborating with Naruto, here they say in collaboration with Mashashi Kishimoto. Now this Discord opened up two days ago. It filled up in a matter of seconds. There's around 6,400 people in there. I did manage to get in. We have all received OG status, but they do say in the Discord, OG does not mean pre-sale or whitelist. So I have no idea what OG means. I had reached out to the team and they did say a lot more announcements are gonna happen in 2022, specifically on January 7th. But what I'm really interested in is why did they delete all of their tweets from their Twitter? So I did reach out to Clay. I mentioned that I saw they deleted all of the pictures of anything Naruto related and really all of their tweets on this Twitter. I also asked if they have any proof that they actually have a collaboration or a licensing agreement that they're allowed to use the art from Naruto to sell as NFTs. He has not gotten back to me yet. Now that's not like a red flag or anything. They just opened their discord. I'm sure he's super busy. The entire team is probably super busy. They're for sure getting bombarded with a ton of DMs, a ton of people asking about whitelist, a ton of questions about the project. So I'm going to give them a benefit of the doubt because if they do have a deal with Naruto, this project is going to be absolutely massive. If they don't, it's going to be a huge letdown. A ton of people are going to be disappointed. So it's really interesting to see how this one is going to play out. The final project on today's list is called Meta Ego Club. It was originally on the Galliverse Twitter. Now, if you weren't following Galliverse, the artist for this was creating these beautiful, these stunning Pokemon 3D avatars. Now, again, another licensing agreement issue. They don't have the licensing to create these Pokemon characters. So I assume that's why they shifted from Galliverse to Meta Meta Eagles, don't quote me on that. Another issue is if you look at the Pokeballs here, you could see that there's a Chanel logo. Some of them had either Gucci or Louis Vuitton. So again, there's big issues when it comes to copyright infringement and licensing agreements. So it does seem like they have pivoted to these Eagles. These Eagles look amazing. Hats off to the artist. It is the same artist who created the Crypto Bulls. Those popped off, they're above two ETH. So I assume these are also gonna do well. I guess my issue is we're kind of going through the same thing we went through with PFPs where you saw every single type of animal and people were just pumping out these projects. So now we had 3D bulls. Next, we have all the different monkey projects. Yesterday, we saw Prime A Planet. If you were able to mint it, good for you. You hit the jackpot. They are over 1.3 Ethereum. I heard there were a lot of people who weren't able to mint who had whitelist. But like I said, their server was completely botted out. I know people who had 10 burner wallets in there who entered the raffle multiple times. So I really don't like how this was managed. But the team made eight million dollars so gg good for them but this is about galliverse or meta eagles so i do think there's a chance that these do well i guess my one issue other than the fact that we're kind of just again running through all these different animal projects and i don't want to insult this project because they look amazing these eagles look stunning the same way that the bulls look stunning it's normal it's the same artist my one issue with it is in their discord if you want whitelist you have to grind to level 50. level 50 who has time to grind in a discord to level 50 and they specifically say don't spam if you spam you're gonna get banned so i don't know about you i don't have time to grind to level 50 i don't even want to grind to level 50 it's not fun at all if you have a really good bot i guess you could just run your bot if you have a virtual assistant you could just pay somebody else to grind a discord all day but i'm not going to be doing it so tough luck i'm going to miss out on this one but again these are the current meta these 3d avatars especially with art of this quality these can do well that's it for today's video if you enjoyed 
enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. As I said, I have videos on tools coming up. I have a video on Natsin. And after that, I'm gonna be covering a ton of different gaming projects. If you want me to look at a specific game, be sure to leave me a comment down below. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.